welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking again at moving program files from your main drive, your C drive, to a secondary drive to tr try to free up some space. Now I've done some videos on using RegEdit for this. I recently did find out about a software called SimMover, so I decided to check it out. And from what I see, it's, it seems to do the job. So let's take a look at it. Uh, you can find it by simply just Googling S-Y-M-M-O-V-E-R. And I chose to download it from CNET.com. So you can click on that and download it from there. I already have it installed, so let's go over there. Sim mover. Now this is kind of what you would, I guess you would call the home screen. From here, uh, you just want to add the folder or add the uh, application. So uh, from here, let's say I did test it out on Audacity. I'm trying to find something I don't mind if it gets screwed up. Wondershare. Video converter, let's use that. So here we can choose the destination folder. You can add a new destination folder here, but I'm gonna leave it on default, which is gonna be, it automatically chose my E drive. And just hit add. It'll bring it up here on the left-hand side in the source side. It'll show any completed ones on this side. And the next thing you want to do is just hit the green button here in the middle and ask you to confirm. Once you confirm, it takes a few seconds here. It'll bring up a copying screen. And let's go over, well, that's the one. Let's take a look at the programs folder. So let's go back to my PC. Let's go to C, programs x86. So basically, if you look at all of these programs here, you see that these are actually folders. If I click on it, it's going to show as a subfolder of the programs folder. But if you look at the Audacity, which I did earlier, I converted earlier, you see that this is a shortcut. So basically, when I click on that, let's check how this is going. It says move to destination. Folder is empty. All right. So now let's go take a look at the E drive. We go to the E drive, which was our destination. You look at Sim Mover. It's a folder called C in here, Programs x86. And there you have the two folders with all its content right there. Now, just to make sure it works, let's close that out. Close that, we're done with that. Go down to the start here, let's find Audacity. Click on that, and it seems to be working perfectly. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please do like this video. Subscribe if you would like to see more content. I know this is my third video on this very topic, but this topic seems to be something of interest to people. And I find it quite interesting to learn about as well, kind of how to manipulate uh, Windows. Let me know what else you would like to see down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.